invited me to a party. He didn't tell me I was going to have to say anything. <laughs> but I'm going to take some questions. You know, I did. I did a big... Did anybody come hear me talk yesterday at UCLA? Yeah, see. There's a few people here. I spoke last night at UCLA. I spoke down at UC Irvine the night before, so I've been giving a lot of, a lot of lectures. So I don't even have much of a voice left. But, you know, it's interesting because I had a little bit of a debate um, yesterday at UCLA, not really much, I really, really wasn't as, enough of a debate for me, but there was a, the dean of the economics department at UCLA was there, and another kind of left wing economist was there. Um, but after, after our, uh, our, our, my, my speech, we went out to dinner, and I was talking to these economists, and one of the things they, they noticed is, you know, I got a lot of laughs when I, when I, I, I spoke for about an hour and a half, and there's a lot of laughs. And it occurred to me, you know, why, why am I getting so much laughter when I'm talking? And it's because I'm explaining Keynesian economics. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking to these Keynesians. But it occurs to me that Keynesian economics is really funny. <laughs> and what's so funny about it is people actually believe it. <laughs> and, and, that's, and that's where all the humor is. Because when you actually explain it in simple terms, it's actually quite funny. But I don't know if that was the appropriate conversation for dinner with these guys, because they might, they might have taken it the wrong way. But anyway, I want to thank everybody for showing up here. It seems like Jen got a pretty good turnout. I heard the Halloween party was pretty good. I should have come to that one. But anyway, as long as I'm here, I don't know how many people here know too much about me, but if anyone has any questions, because I, I said, Jen, you sure you want me to speak? Because this is a party. I mean, I'm like Dr. Doom. <laughs> Blow the mood. You know, to be here to have a good time. I mean, the economy's about to explode. You know? <laughs> and we want to have some fun. Have <laughs> but if anybody has any questions, if they want to ask me something, I'll be, be happy to answer it. The gentleman over here has got a question. Uh, so, what you're saying to is there any hope for Western civilization? <laughs> well, we're, we're, there's a lot of hope countries in the West. Are you talking about all the Western civilization? <laughs> or just, no, just, just America? <laughs> uh, well, there's hope. You know, I mean, hey, Obama had hope. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I am hopeful, but that's about all we got. <laughs> no, I mean, it is possible that we can do the right thing after we've exhausted all of the other possibilities. <laughs> but, no, I mean, you know, capitalism, free markets, you know, they work. I mean, if we give it a try, and I joke, you know, capitalism is doing really well in China. I'm pretty sure it would work here. If we try. <laughs> so I think, but after we have the crisis, after there's a collapse, to the extent that we can, you know, have a real revolution, we can resist. You know, you got this Occupy Wall Street crowd that, you know, wants, you know, wants to have a communist revolution. But hopefully we can have more of a free market, uh, a second American revolution, and understand that all the pain we're about to endure is because of government. It's not because of capitalism, not because of the free market. And if we're going to have a, a, a bright future in this country, we're, we're, it's going to be based on going back to those values. So, you know, there's certainly hope. And I am hopeful because I'm still here. You know, some people have already left the country. I'm still here. Yeah. Do you feel we can actually go back to a gold standard before the actual economy collapses? No, we're going to go back to a gold standard after the economy. <laughs> I just got to get this down. I have this jacket on. I'm like burning hot. So like, <laughs> but re reason TV. <laughs> and it just saw, yeah, my, this is it. This is it. I got a dollar. <laughs> it's hot. It's like <laughs> So I'm going to have to find a way to, to put this. This is a big mic. <laughs> you put it on the ground. Just put it on the ground. All right. There you go. All right, who got the next question? Yeah. Oh, you do? All right. When do you see us coming out of this malaise depression, and when do you see us, and what do you think will bring us out of it? Well, we're, we're still, I mean, we're still, you know, we're not even near the bottom yet. So first we've got to happen. Hit rock bottom, you know. It's like you know, there's an expression. If you know, maybe some of the people here know about you know rehab and alcohol abuse, yeah. drug abuse. But generally, you got to hit rock bottom before you before you can uh, you know actually kick the habit. So we're we're not there yet. I mean, we're you know we're not we're not at rock bottom. Uh, we're gonna get there though.